Okay, me again, Joy Gilton. In the last video, I showed you how to put um, sashing onto your blocks. In this one, I'm going to show you how to put a little insert or a flap into your sashing. Okay, I did this because on this particular quilt, the sashing is a very busy fabric, and some of the fabrics around the edge are busy, and I felt it needed something to calm it down a bit. So I put these thin strips of brown in. So I cut two and a half inch strips for the sash in. I cut one and a quarter inch strips for the little flaps and you just press them in half. Okay, wrong sides together. Okay, if you need help with cutting, I've done a cutting video and there's also the basic sash in video as well you can watch. But I'll show you how to put the inserts in now. Okay, so you do have to think a little bit more about this to get everything in the right order. Okay, so you need to put down your block, put down your insert strip on top of it, okay? And then your sashing strip goes on top, all with the raw edges facing out all the same way. And I always do it a little bit bigger than I need. I cut it back later. Okay. Now I'm going to pin. Okay. I always pin vertically. Right. And then I go right through. And just catch everything in the top bit of the pin. I usually then do the other edge. Just make sure everything's laying flat. Okay. Put the pin in there. I'm just going to put one more pin in and then I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch along here. Next, you trim the excess off, straight line along the top, trim that off, trim that edge off, Press the seams, stitches into place and from the front I can press it over. Okay, we've now got, there we go, the first sashing strip with your little flap in. Next, you pick up Another piece of your little flap, lay that down on the opposite end, get your next block, lay that on top, pin as we did before and stitch another quarter of an inch seam. Okay, then you press, open up. And you want to be pressing your flaps towards the blocks. So you've got a nice flap either side. And on the back, you've got the seams pressed in towards the sashing. You continue doing that until you've got a row finished. Here's a row I've already finished. Okay. And then to join your rows together, you can do the same thing again. But this time I'm going to measure my sashing piece. I measure down the middle of my row of blocks. And whatever that measures, that's the size sashing you need. Just 43 inches for this. And what I do then is I put a pin one end, measure 43 and put a pin the other. Okay, this is so that you don't get wavy lines on your quilts. If you've ever seen wavy quilts, it's because people have put down sashing and things give as they're moving along. And then you end up with a wave. So if you measure down the middle, that's the most stable piece of it. You're going to get nice straight edges. So you're going to lay down. Again, you flap, more edges to the outside, 
lay down your sachet on top start in there I would pin there you can refer to the other video if you like because I'm only going over the same ground I pin that one end I put the piece of the pin in at the other end then I pin the middle then I go to the middle of that then I go to the middle so that I'm getting everything in the correct order so you need, you need to look at that really there you go and then you'd have the seam joined there and then you do the same with the next one but you, you you just need to look through the other video because we're going over the same ground i really wanted to show you in this one how to put this little these little um these little flaps in 